I vaguely remember whisperings about how the wind caused a mountain woman to go crazy in the crazy mountains in Montana. Wind can do that to you, make you wonder, feel unsettled, and tossed to and fro, even if safely sheltered in the warmth of your home. I also remember another conversation with a lovely soul about wind. She said it reminded her that the spirit is moving. Well, the spirit is certainly moving today. The wind is quickly blowing in highs of negative 12 and lows of negative 42, and that doesn't even count in the wind chill. Wind chills are expected to be negative 55 degrees Fahrenheit in our area. In my last musing, I shared about trust. As this weather settles in over the next week, those thoughts are definitely still working through me. But these bitter cold days make me wonder about God's will. Is it God's will we live in such a barren place? Am I doing each day what I need to be doing? Am I missing something important that he's called me to do? And with these thoughts, I realize that I must let God transform me into a new person by changing the way I think. The average person has 60,000 thoughts per day. That's a lot of transforming to be done. But only in that transformation, sifting through each thought, will I learn to know God's will for me, his good, pleasing, and perfect will for me. Teach me to do your will, O God. May your gracious spirit lead me forward on a firm footing. And in that, there is trust. Trust that he has heard my prayer and is already in the act of answering. Eve is feeling so cold. It's hard to jump up. <laughs> it's just so cold. <laughs> Really does. She has a lot less milk too. <sighs> this one was Faith's baby from the year before, and she is showing that she's in heat. She was supposed to be bred. <laughs> so sad. Look at that. I'm gonna try to put the buck in with her. Why didn't she get bred last month? And why is she going into heat on the coldest day of the year? <laughs> I need to pray for them. Ah, the hardest part is getting them out of bed. Yes, it is. It's hard. Chicky, did you find a warm spot? Are they letting you in? Yeah. Fiona, I need you. Fiona. Come on, Fee. There she comes. She's got to climb over. Oh, no. Oh, Fee, why don't you go potty? Go potty. Go potty and then we'll get you in, okay? There you go. I know it. It's hard to wake up on a cold day like this, huh? Go potty and we'll get you in. Delight, you gotta wake up too. To make the leap when it's so cold. The milk that's on here is completely frozen solid. Ugh. I made it to my last coat, Delight. She's going potty. I'm gonna get her and get her milked. I gotta get the buck in with mustard and then go inside to warm up. <laughs> oh no, I forgot. I forgot to put my gloves in my coat and look, it froze. There was some moisture from the milk in the under the bucket and they're literally, oh, they're frozen to it. Ah! I don't know. Maybe I was misreading clues. We'll see. To stay out of the wind chill, this is how we're feeding today. It's that wind chill is so cold. Brutal. With it so cold outside, it only made sense to stay inside. Nothing can be done outside in this weather without harm to body and mind. So we spent the day inside with family and a neighbor cutting up a cow we had recently butchered. What a blessing to have a freezer full of meat and the ability to do this ourselves. I've also been reminding myself to rejoice always, 
pray without ceasing, and in everything give thanks, for this is God's will for me in Christ Jesus. Another key in my quest to learning what God's will is for me. So the test will become, will I rejoice in this cold snap? Will I rejoice when the car won't start again? Will I rejoice when my kids are bickering again as we're locked in the house this next week? This becomes my proving ground. Am I willing to step into God's will for my life by rejoicing as I do my chores? Am I willing to pray unceasingly with passion and fervor that warms my heart and melts the ice of bitterness off my life? Am I willing to be thankful even when it feels like life is so bitter cold and unforgiving? Day by day, this testing and practicing strengthens the muscles of my heart, and through it all, I do pray that my heart gets wiser, more resilient, and highly obedient to what God is leading me towards, His beautiful, perfect will. You know, today I put on the bags on my feet for the first time. I've not done that. I don't think I had any more foot warmers, and I've not ever gotten anything heated yet, so uh, someday I will. Maybe I'll remember to. <laughs> But the bags seem to be working fairly well. You know, I've, been, I've only milked two goats, I have four more to go, but so far they're actually feeling fairly warm still. So that's good. <laughs> Look at those little hoof prints. <laughs> oh, I forgot again, you gotta stuff in your gloves, there's no freeze. Oh. Nope, nope, bags on the feet don't work. Oh, we're done with chores for the morning. Let's go. Just having a weak moment about the animals and how cold it is. This weather is so awful. It is so cold. It hurts and it's hard to do chores. And it just all, it's just hard. I guess probably my feelings then are, or my reaction right now is just because I feel helpless. I can't just make the weather warmer and and I can't just make our barns heated and sometimes I want to be able to just make it all better. Okay, so I've warmed up now <laughs> and I've been reminding myself that goats are cold hardy animals and they really can take a lot. It's just hard to see them when it is so cold and you can just tell they're cold. Despite the warm bedding, the, you know, all the straw and all the hay they can eat and the, and the water that's, you know, heated water, uh, it's just cold. So I've been though reminding myself that they are cold hardy animals. They will be fine. We will survive this and we will continue to just keep getting them healthier and healthier that's the main the main part of this for you for me for every goat owner is keep your goats in good flesh parasite free and and all the vitamins and minerals that they need to be as healthy in every area of their life as possible so keep them warm and healthy by keeping them healthy and and sufficiently fat not over fat but in good condition and so that's what I keep telling myself they're fine we will make it